Wade and Wade reacts. This is our reaction to Assassin's Creed Shadows introducing Noe and Yasuke. Let's check it out. With our dual protagonist, we have two fantasies, the samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience both, and we cannot squeeze both fantasies into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different social class. They have different okay. lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. The historical character of Yasuke presented a really exciting opportunity for the narrative team. We approached it in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Not yeah. a lot is known about him, but what we did know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts. Okay. And that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, and Jesuits, oh. which made it very sort of tantalizing and enticing from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts with story in between. So they do this with him and mine? The more we read the, about I think so. the character, the more he was inspiring for us. He's a foreigner discovering Japan and we, we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan and you are discovering Japan also. And on the I wonder how side, big the map is going to be. Comes, uh, from the province of Iga, which is a, a remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as the birthplace of Shinobi. So they're very contrasting perspectives that nice. really explore a lot of, research a lot yeah, of different like sides uh, and facets of the era. When Oda came, uh, he completely destroyed Iga. You have Yasuke and Oda that come in to destroy the shinobi. So mm -hmm. it can kind of create this, this interesting tension between two characters. We were able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan Shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi wow. Nagato, who's, who's her father in the game. Okay. So we understand why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from her father and the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. Mm. And as a young person, still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And if you ask anybody, it's super clear that Samurai will be combat heavy and a Shinobi will be stealth heavy. It creates this distinction right away. Okay, I like yes, that. Yes, he can, uh, back can fight it, with all yeah, his Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, his too. Stature. Like, he's, he's a big guy. He can break door. He can fight multiple enemies. He can break armor. Compared to that way, I like that. Like her character and their, their outfit, it's it's really about being stealth, being unseen. She's the only one with the Eden blade, so they have clear advantage that put them into okay. the, the stealth and the combat, even That's if they nice. can do a, a bit of more. They're, uh, really okay, so it seems like you will be able to switch back and forth. On one side, uh, we have Nawe, who's very intense Nawe. and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart mm. on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment. And this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. Okay. And this balances very well with Yasuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Nawe's fiery passion. We really thought about She's somebody making me like interested Yasuke in the game. Historically, who was able to come to Japan and hopefully have the game the is as good as they're making it seem. Service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, right there. and respectful of this culture that he encounters, and that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the game progresses. I thought that introduction was going to show us some gameplay. That's what I was looking forward to. Also, a question is, how big is the board that they're going to give us to work with? Are they going to give us an island in Japan? Is it going to be a city and a little bit of the outskirts and then an area where it tells you you can't go beyond this point? What scale is the environment going to be? Assassin's Creed always give you a giant map. I'm just going to have to wait for the gameplay, though. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Like you said, I expect the gameplay out of this. 
we didn't get any, but you know, they just announced the games. So I'll wait maybe a couple of weeks or either next month or something like that, they'll drop some gameplay. Because I'm still not a fan of Assassin's Creed games. Nah. I think the last one I played was Revelations. The last one I sat down and enjoyed. Mm. You can tell that the developers put a lot of thought into this game. They really did their research on Japanese history and they didn't just throw things together. They went back in time and brought some of the historical events, some historical figures, and placed them into this game. So I'm really interested in how they're gonna lay this story out. Yeah, they seem really enthusiastic about the product that they're going to bring to us. So hopefully their enthusiasm made it into the game. Yeah. So we can have a good experience while we're playing it and feel like them. Yeah, hopefully so for the fans of Assassin's Creed. All right, y'all, that does it for our reaction to Assassin's Creed Shadows, who are Noe and Yasuke. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Also, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss a video from Wade and Wade Reacts. We're out of here. Peace.